Good morning, viewers. My name is Bill Abdullahi from NAS TV Africa, where we manifest Africa's greatness. And today we are live at Aerostem's Fellowship. You know, with we, we a lot of kids, uh, it's all about aviation. Sure, you get so. Good morning. I'm Bill Abdullahi from NAS TV Africa. Thank you. So, yes, we are live at Aerostem, and I, I must say it's a really loud program. So, can you tell us, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Idris Ekumba, and um, I'm here with Aerostem Fellowship. Uh, our organization is called Project Sunshine. Okay. And um, we initially started as a response to COVID-19 uh, during COVID. And uh, what we did around that time was to try and see if we could uh, help with uh, the feeding issues that came with COVID-19, providing uh, mostly uh, uh, sanitation materials and all that stuff for, for the community. And then once COVID was done, we realized that we need to think about what else we can use our Project Sunshine for. And what we decided to do was uh, to kind of walk towards our passion of aviation and use aviation to introduce them to uh, African kids. I grew up in Ilori, um, and uh, for me, it was uh, important that I came to Ilori first. And uh, when I started looking around, we were lucky that Ilori also has one of the foremost uh, aviation colleges. Okay. And uh, for us, it was important for us to collaborate with them we spoke with them, they were very receptive, very helpful. And um, we are here today to introduce mostly kids from uh, the public school system. And we have about eight different schools here. Our objective is to train them over the next three days on how to build RC airplane, introduce them to STEM. And then our goal is that they can go back to their schools and they will be the footprint for AeroSTEM fellowship program in their schools. Uh, we're gonna give them uh, all the components they're going to take it back to their schools, and we're going to engage them over the next uh, three months. Every three months, they get new projects to work on, and uh, we'll be mentoring them, helping with scholarships, and uh, getting these kids uh, on, the, on the right footprint for STEM, STEM education. Yeah. So I wanted to ask other questions, like what informed this decision, but it seems you already answered. So yeah. what advice do you have for kids that are here today? Well, I think uh, the most important thing, uh, they're in their formative years, and the most important thing is for them to continue to work on uh, engagement. You know, if you're engaged in whatever it is that you're trying to do, um, it helps with uh, decision making in the future. Like I said, uh, we don't think about enough what our short term and our long term goals are. So we want to help them develop what their short, short term goals are. And then in that sense, we will provide enough mentorship for them to be able to get them to think about what their long term goals are. And our goal will be to help them, shepherd them through that process, mentor them, provide scholarship, provide um, advice on where they can go. And uh, for those that want to be engineers, whatever they want to be, STEM is in, that, is in that field already. So we're excited to do that. That's, that's really amazing. Thank so you. I wanted to ask, like, someone like me that's yeah. a graduate from uni. Yeah. And so is it like for someone of my age or just for kids? Well, right now we are mostly targeting uh, kids um, okay. because those are their formative years. But for people like you that have also graduated, okay. we also have mentorship uh, programs. And what we want to do is to be able to come, we get the information, we talk to you about what your goals are, what you're trying to do, and then we can uh, hopefully set a good footprint for you. Uh, for those that want to go into IT and stuff, we're trying to get more people into IT, uh, software development and stuff like that. Uh, even though we're in aviation, we also understand the role that uh, all these softwares and all these coding and all that stuff okay. play in aviation. Aviation is going automatic uh, in the next uh, decade or so. So, so it's important that we start we start working on it and getting more Nigerian kids to think about that and see how they can uh, also be a part of that uh, industry. Oh, that's awesome. So, like, what are the next steps for for is this Sunshine or Auto STEM? So, yeah. so the name of the program itself okay. is Aerostem Fellowship. Aerostem Fellowship okay. uh, like you can see, the, the, the organization sponsoring it is, 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 pro, is Project Sunshine. Project Sunshine okay. But Aerostem Fellowship is the, is the program itself. It's a fellowship, okay. like I said, of people that are interested in STEM, STEM. and then we can kind of shepherd them through it. So the next phase will be we'll, we'll teach them how to build RC airplane. Okay. We, we have all the components. We're going to take them through the basics of aerodynamics. Okay. And the objective is that we can introduce them into robotics and stuff like that. They can start awesome. building flying RC airplanes, and then we, we start giving them more complex uh, assignments. And then uh, we will be back shortly. We'll visit their schools. We'll see what their needs are in those schools. And then we'll try to establish Aerostem Fellowship uh, clubs in those schools. And then we'll continue to provide the resources that they need 
to continue to build on the um, experience that they get from here today. And then our goal is to actually be able to touch every uh, uh, public school, uh, especially the one that needs us the most, you know. Um, and then once we're done with that, we start looking at what are their needs because if we're asking people that are having eaten to learn STEM, it's, it's not, it's difficult, right? You can't pay your school fees. How are we going to make sure that they have all those things while they're also learning? So those that are interested, that have any kind of challenges, will be there to also assist them and make sure that they can get through uh, really what cool. they need to get through. So like, what advice do you have for our viewers, that are kids that are watching also? Well, I'll say uh, please uh, look into AeroSTEM. Um, I think it is important that every kid has a basic uh, foundation on STEM. Yeah. And uh, science, technology, uh, engineering, and math is taking over the world. Yeah. And please, uh, we're going to have our website uh, on, the, uh, on your uh, platform too, so they can look at our website. Uh, they would also be able to register through the website. We'll get their information, and then we can stay in touch with them. We'll, what, what we're doing right now is creating the initial footprint for the organization, for the program. And then what we do is we create a database and then we would uh, double up our effort in, in coming back to Nigeria, engaging with the kids. And hopefully we'll do it gradually, but we will touch as many people as we can. That is the guarantee. Yeah, thank you so you. much, Captain Idris. Thank you very much. All right, thank, thank you so you much. much. You're welcome. You. Good morning, sir. I'm Bill Ablai from Nas TV Africa. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Suleiman Taufik. I'm a flight instructor at International Aviation College, Alor. All right, thank you so much. So can you tell us more about this Aerostem Fellowship? All right, so basically what this uh, program is all about is uh, we're trying to get uh, the young guys, especially from the public schools, that they don't have that much exposure into the, uh, the international world and uh, to know that you don't really need to go to the university to become a, a pilot or to try and go into these uh, technologies and stuff like that. So basically that's why we're trying to synthesize the youth from the age of 13 to 18 to just tell them that you can move from, uh, you can learn something from an an issue and then just develop yourself and go into it. Oh, that's awesome. So what advice do you have for kids that are here today? All right, so basically I just want to tell them that uh, whatever all the facilitators, what they tell them, they should uh, take it to mind. They should pay attention and then they are free to ask questions because they are here to learn. Let them ask questions and then let them interact, let them communicate and then Hopefully in the next one or two years, we hope to see some guys, some guys and girls say that, okay, I came to International Aviation College using this Aerostem Fellowship and then I have decided, okay, I want to become a, a pilot or anything that has to do with technology, not necessarily being a pilot. Aviation sector, technological sector, anything that works for them. Okay, thanks very much. So what advice do you have for viewers out there that are not here? Kids, young kids, yeah. Okay, so the thing there is... Uh, Everybody can become a pilot. It's it's not it's not a difficult uh, profession, but it is it requires a lot of training. It requires a lot of uh, mental mental strength. You need to be smart. You need to be brilliant. You can't just say that you want to become a pilot just because of the uniform or the money. You have to know that you're really 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 ready to learn it. So for the viewers out there, I just want to tell them that while you do, you are not opportunity to be in this part. Stay tuned. This is not going to be a one-time thing. It's going to be progressive and then we'll see how, how much more we can synthesize people and tell them that, okay, universities is not really the way right now because you see a lot of people finish from universities, they are busy looking for jobs. Like, yeah. you don't need jam, you just need to get your secondary school certificate and come into aviation. That's awesome. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. welcome. Yeah. 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 All right, good morning. I'm Bill Abdullah from NAS TV Africa. Can we meet you, please? All right, my name is uh, Captain Uchenna. Uh, I fly Frontier Airlines in the United States. Right, so, yeah, we came here for uh, Aerostem Fellowship and I must say it's, really a, fant it's a really fantastic program. So Thank can you. you tell us more about Aerostem? All right, um, Aerostem is, uh, it was started by my friend and I. Um, first of all, it was an initiative that he uh, dreamt of when uh, in 2020 during COVID. And individually, he, we have been assisting students. We go, we, um, we're members of um, an organization called OBAP, which is an uh, organization of black aerospace professionals in the U.S., where we do something similar. We go to other schools in the U.S. and, you know, introduce young African or African-American uh, students to aerostem, to aviation. And so we thought about it. We said, okay, I have a few students that I give scholarships to in Nigeria. He does the same thing. And we spend our time and our resources going 
to visit American schools to introduce American kids to aviation. And we thought to ourselves, well, I was born in Nigeria, you were born in Nigeria, why don't we go back to Nigeria and do the same thing? And so that's where the idea came from. And we know that it's not just aviation. We know that you know, it's all about science, technology. There are so many fields that are relevant, even in aviation, the engineers, the mechanics, you know, the, and doctors, lawyers. So we decided that you know, we can go back, start Aerostem. We want to get, that's where the main idea for Aerostem came from. That's, that's really awesome. So like, what are the next steps for Aerostem? All right, so um, what we're doing right now is we want to get all these students, first of all, introduce them to STEM okay. in a fun way. We want to make sure that they can see that, listen, that first of all, it can be fun, fun to, okay. to, to play around with all these things, you know, to, to, to expand your mind, to see, and then also to, to show them, you know, what the end goal is. They can see that when you take an interest in STEM, we want to show them where the world is going. Okay. And so for us, this is just an introduction. We're going to meet lots of them. Our hope is that we can build a relationship with them. Okay. You know, as they go through, we, keep, we, we introduce them to, you know, the fields that are okay. coming up, especially in the Western world, you know, and then also help them pick those fields. Because sometimes you, you cannot apply for something if you don't know it. Yeah, so true. there are lots of people who are software engineers, app developers. These kids only hear about all oh, meds and meds and meds. But there's so much. There are app developers. There are people who, you know, create like AI and all these, these are all the fields that are ex exploding and these That's are going to be the fields of the future. So we want to introduce them to them and not just introduce it to them, we want to make sure that when the time comes for them to choose it and they need certifications, software certifications, uh, you know, that we will also be there every step of the way, introduce it, even fund some of it and you know, and just help them. My hope is that these kids that we've met today in the future, when they're 25, when they're 30, that these guys will be established in their fields, and not just established in their fields, they will take the same knowledge that they've gotten and bring it back and also give it to other people. And, you know, that's the only way Nigeria can go forward. Yeah, that's, that's very true. So, like, is all Aerostem for, like, just kids or for students like, like let's say, youth like me that are done with school, like, after graduation? Can you consider Aerostem as? So it's a mentorship program, obviously. So it's for everyone. Um, we just started this. This was our focus right now. We wanted to go with kids who are maybe between uh, 12 and 16. But even, like I said, it's, it's a mentorship program, which means as I'm available today, I'm available to meet with anyone, talk to them, uh, mentor them, help them, guide them, or whatever they have to do. But like I said, because this, obviously, our organization has just at this time you know singleness of purpose is the only way you can achieve success and so by focusing on this we want to make sure that if we're successful with this we get these uh, kids you know on the program and running and then we can also go ahead and then open up opportunities for others That's awesome. so what advice do you have for kids that, that came here today well the first thing I'm going to say like I mentioned earlier for them is first of all you need to have a dream because that is the first step. If you can imagine yourself, if you can dream about what it is you want to be. It doesn't, I, 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 I wasn't born um, in, in millions. I wasn't born into a family that had pilots. I had no idea. The only thing I had was the idea that I wanted to be a pilot and I didn't even know how I was gonna do it. So all I have to say to them is have a dream. Have a dream and then get connected. Every time there's an opportunity like this, meet people that can either answer your questions or direct you. That's what mentors are for. If you go to the de developed countries, most of, like 90% of the pilots you have are children of other pilots or relatives of other pilots. Why? Because they have someone to tell them how to do it. The politicians the, the, uh, usually have, you know, they have mentors. The people who are business owners, they have mentors. So the same thing, that's what we want to do. So they should be open to connection. They if they, be bold, walk up to people, ask questions. Whenever an opportunity like this presents itself, they should show up. And you, that's just the beginning. And the sky will, will be their starting point yeah, for them. That's true. So, like, I want you to advise kids that are watching, okay. that are not here today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, for, um, yeah. the, the, for the kids who are watching, uh, I want to say is that um, believe in yourself. Um, I was once like you. I went to secondary school and university all here in Nigeria. I went to a public school. I didn't really have much. But I had that dream that I was going to become a pilot and all the events lined up to make it possible. And so all I'm going to say to you today is um, believe in yourself, pick a dream, every day try to accomplish one thing that will bring you closer to your dream and uh, in no time uh, you'll be there. Yeah, thank you so much, Captain Nuche. All right, thank you very yeah, much. You're welcome. All right. Good morning, sir. My name is Bill Abdullahi from NAS TV Africa. Yeah, please, can you introduce yourself to us, sir? Uh, good morning. My name is Captain Yakubu 
of Katahi. I'm the acting rector of International Aviation College in Lorry. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So, can you tell us about what STEM is and what's actually happened here, sir? Um, we thank uh, God that uh, He brought about this day. We have these two captains, Captain Idris, Captain Uche, from America. They were brought up in Nigeria. They were brought up in Nigeria. They went to school in Nigeria, and then they went to America to become a pilot. And um, the good thing is that they've been so nice, and they think back where they came from. There are so many people that don't have the opportunity. And they have decided to come and give this opportunity to sensitize these children so that they can be able to do a course where they can use their hands to do something or they can fly uh, but mainly in aviation. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. So what advice do you have for these kids that are here today? Well, I want to thank their parents. You know, usually we don't want parents to push their children to say, do this, do that. We want them to make up their mind. When they listen to these lectures, when they use their hands to do these models and things like that, they will be interested in aviation, engineering, piloting, even air traffic control and uh, electronics. So we want them to be able to know that there are so many opportunities for them and this is part of it. All right, sir. So what advice do you have for kids watching the TV that are, also, that are out there that are not here today? Yes. Well, this is not the only one we'll be doing. Okay. We'll be doing many more of this. So we'll be able to, I hope they will be able to take part in the subsequent ones that we do. All right, sir. Thank you very much you for very coming much. here today. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes. Good morning. I'm Bill Abdullah from NAS TV Africa. Please, can you introduce yourself, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, my name is Mohamed Jumada Gibro. I'm the registrar uh, of International Aviation College in Lauren. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, sir. So what can you tell us about the program happening here today? Yes, I am excited and I'm happy that uh, our colleague is uh, hosting the, this uh, laudable program. Okay. Uh, I want to believe by the end of the day, uh, we'll be able to activate the participant interest in the uh, aviation uh, industry. Wow, thank you. Okay, sir. So, um, what advice do you have for kids that are here today? Yes, I want them to develop their interest. I want them to be focused I want them to seize the opportunity so that they can build that interest and uh, uh, zeal to be future captains, which the Kuala State uh, will be proud of. Uh, all right, sir. So what advice do you have for kids that are not here, but they are watching the TV? Yes. Uh, I want them to, like, uh, mm, uh, uh, as if they are here in the program so that the next uh, program and uh, they may have the opportunity to be captured. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for having me.